Hello. Do you want to save tax and are thinking about paying dividends to your family? Hi, this is Gordon De Silva from Gordon's Night, and I'm a business expert, a award-winning accountant, a best-selling author on Amazon, of course, a speaker. So what's the problem here? The problem is one that you may have a business that's making enough money to pay higher rate tax on. You are also supporting a family, uh, probably wife, children, maybe the children are at university or at private school, and you are wondering whether it is possible to pay some of your family a dividend rather than paying it all to you and paying higher rate tax. Why not use the lower rates that your family have available if they're at college or university or school or even if it's your spouse? Why not uh, pay them uh, income and as a result you would be able to save higher rates of tax true so uh, why is this important it's important because you know the more money we save the, the faster and better we can build our wealth right and part of the reason we have a business is to increase our wealth and provide for our families for our future for our hobbies for our holidays and so on but let me just focus on the five things that we deal with as a business, right? We work on the five focuses, which is increasing profits, cash flow for the for the individual, uh, make the business run more effectively, increase the value of the business, and uh, increase the growth potential of the business. So those are the things we're doing, and let's look at some of the some of the reasons that we probably couldn't do what we want to do in as much as uh, we'd like to. The first reason is that the revenue have changed the rules. The revenue have said, look, there is uh, no way that we're going to allow for businesses just to uh, spread their income into lower rates uh, individuals just to save tax. So to the extent that you are doing this just to save tax, then it is no longer available. The rules changed a, a couple of years ago and it is no longer available to you. So what could you do? The first thing you could do, of course, is uh, with your spouse is to ask her if she'd like to help you in your business, give her a role in the business, and then maybe offer her a salary for that role. And uh, you could pay her a salary if she hasn't got a job. And even if she has got a job, you can pay you know up to uh, 8,000, 9,000 pounds with uh, virtually no national insurance, but just tax. So you're paying 20% rather than 40%. And so that's not a bad deal. So first thing is, can you use your wife's either zero rate allowances or uh, lower rate allowances by just paying her a salary for doing the relevant amount of work. That's important. Okay. The second thing is, you know, is she a you know stakeholder in the business? Does she really produce, you know, provide you know consultancy to you? Does she give you second opinions? Does she help you when you're stuck? Does she uh, review your business model with you, your strategy with you? Does she look at your tactics? Does she help look at your accounts or do the bookkeeping? If she has got a stake in the business, you could, if she hasn't got any um, other income and hasn't used up her full basic rate allowance, you could, of course, give her a share of the business. You could gift her some of the shares, and as such, she would then be a stakeholder in the business, and she would have a proportion of shares. Uh, whatever proportion you give her, the dividend has to be split in that proportion. So if you give her 30%, whatever you take out would be 70% of the total, and she would have to get 30%. So you have to keep to those percentages. And the third thing you could do if you have children is you obviously can't gift your children uh, shares because that would be classed as a gift and there would be inheritance tax issues on that and, and maybe gift issues on that. So you could give them a job. Uh, the job may be bookkeeping. Uh, my kids, for example, help me with managing some of my properties. My kids help me with my social media because I'm not very good on that. They help me do postings on Facebook and uh, Twitter and teach me the skills I need to know on how to use hashtags and the at sign and so on. So those are skills they have that I don't and I pay them for that 
time and skill that they have that uh, I want. So those are the you know those are ways that you could use your family legitimately to reduce your overall tax bill and allow you to take more money home as a result. So uh, the benefits of doing that are that uh, you end up with less tax in total, uh, the you as an individual and your company in total, so that your family accumulate more wealth faster. And that way you can build your growth. Now, you should be doing a personal balance sheet. If you're not, you, you should be so that you can track the wealth of your business over time and improve your stake and check that your business is giving you that higher value. So that's the, the things you should be doing. So let me ask you then, what are your takeaways from this? Right? What uh, have you learned from this? What could you do? What uh, sh- you know, brief questions you have? If you're on one of our essentials program, then of course you can have a 10 minute quick fix call. Uh, if you're just a normal client, you can still have a 10 minute quick fix call, but you will be re- you know you will be required to have that one because you know we're we're on a tight budget with with you, and so uh, it's important that uh, we make sure that uh, you get the best value from that one call you make to us because otherwise we're de- dealing with your affairs at an annual basis. So uh, hopefully that helps uh, with uh, your takeaways, make and make sure that you understand what you're going to do uh, with it. And uh, you know, my name is Gordon De Silva, as I said. My contact details are there. The websites so we work on are there. Remember the model we work on is go from employed to self-employed to direct to proper director level. This is where not only you're a director of your company, but you direct other employees, which may include family members. You then become an owner of yourself, uh, of your business, without actually maybe directing it, if that's the way you want to go. Certainly, you want to become an investor of, uh, of other businesses, of multiple properties, which will give you the choice on how you spend your time and what you do with the additional income you generate above what you need to maintain your lifestyle. Hopefully that's been of value to you. I look forward to speaking to you in due course as uh, and when you have issues. By all means, uh, get in touch. Thank you for your question and uh, hopefully this has answered that question for you. Remember, this is not legal advice and if you're not a client and you haven't taken our advice directly one-to-one, you cannot use this advice and rely on it because every situation is different, every circumstance is different. If you'd like to buy some consultancy services, by all means do that and we'll help you based on current tax knowledge because while I'm recording this now, when you're watching this, it may be then and so uh, it may not be relevant. It's, I'm sorry for that disclaimer. I don't like working that way, but it is what it is. Take care, and I look forward to speaking to you, and good luck with the business. Take care. Bye-bye.